today it is chapter six. As I was closing in on the hospital, I called Dr. Morton back. Tell me, Doc, what's three times your size has machetes for hands and skin as tough as a rock? I couldn't say, Mr. McCready. I'm not privy to every bioweapon experiment the government conjured up to fight the epidemic. Damn thing almost cut me into pieces. Just get me the tissue sample, Mr. McCready. I will talk to you then. Mm, tissue sample. Patient zero. Mm, hopefully all the chickens are asleep by now. Let's Merrow Hospital. Going to leave it. Hospital. Ooh. Let's start back here first. It's always quite a challenge to find a peaceful time to record. So my only real choice is to try to find a time where it's more peaceful like, yep hidden mm, produce three arms Should be it. Now let's see. We'll go with that. Stock. Hmm. Shocker blade cannon available. We'll just save up a bit for a shocker later. Sure. Right. Double check in the quick select. But again, with the weapons, you should just go with whichever suits your own playstyle the best. And by now, you should be getting a pretty good idea of uh, your own personal playstyle. Something that keeps you alive longer. So there's gonna be a few more of the ambulances spread around, and sometimes they'll have the health packs ready and waiting, sitting in the back of the car. You know, the hissing sound, the screechers, or the mouths. Yeah, one on each side. So what I usually like to do is sort of start inching my way forward, and that'll get them to come out one at a time. That way, I'm not just charging in. You charge in, you can start shooting and stunning one to keep them from screeching, but then the other would screech, so it's just better to do it this way. Oh man. Elite. 
Ничего. bleed uh, give every little hint of uh, what it is yeah. acid for blood like the xenomorphs except not as cool looking <sighs> always evasive the scrawny ones Ooh. you're always best to get rid of them Faster. Yep, one of the ambulances there. Although sometimes it might be smarter to save them until you leave the area just in case you do get clipped by something. Nice. And check the corners. Spacing was good that time. <laughs> yeah, use one there. It would probably still damage you. guys just got uh, stuck on one of the vehicles. Should be good. to wait out the shockwave they create. It's just delayed damage waiting to happen. Mm. It'll tumble down and have a few seconds of invulnerability. Just gotta wait it out a little. Usually a few more armored behind the container. Yeah. And so you'll probably notice that um Pretty much using the same strategy or what is it? Yeah, pretty much. 
much the same strategy procedure uh, for when I'm trying to get the crowd control going. Usually trying to stun or shoot the one closest to me. And when there is a bunch of them, I give them a bit of a run around, try to wind them up into a ball, trying to keep them on one side of me. And again, your character will have a slower movement speed when you're trying to aim. So using the right analog stick or trying to aim at all while on the move, you move at a slightly slower pace compared if you let it go to neutral. So when they catch up to you, it's better to regain that distance. It's a screecher there. Creatures either getting too close to them, or when they're at a certain distance to you, or if you hit them once with anything that'll trigger them to scream and do their thing. Claire died the way they wanted to on a keyboard, bashing out in a <laughs> yes. Fantastic ways of the internet. Try to get this one first. a slight speed advantage to them when they're just jumbling up like this so. when they're all rolled up that's when it's good to place that nice grenade on them usually a few more stuck behind the gate or on the side so yeah well thankfully it was just one this time we do need a health pack
this is just one of those areas where the scrawny ones just seem to endlessly spawn from somewhere. When you're in one of those areas, it's good to just uh, attack the area head on. The area where it looks like they're spawning from. Same thing, both ammo crates. step into some light. Would have been a, a much worse situation. Uh, Sebastiano was too busy texting with the partners and noticed that it happened. Uh, it would have been a worse situation if that Screecher got a scream off. Uh. sure that time.
my team. to start picking them off if too many of them start gathering on well, not only one of the car alarms but your flares or pretty much anything that'll draw aggro it'll only distract a, a finite number of them and the rest will gang up on you There's usually a few lingering around these fences and in the upper area there as well. You can grab for a little extra points and cash. survive a zombie horror documentary and pay the price.
see the ones that you suspect probably won't get caught in the blast before it does explode. It's better to start going for them first. and the lighting is eased down a bit. It does not mean that it's all clear. Some hissing and grumbling on the side. Yep. area in particular, so I'll probably just blow these up. I believe they just blow up automatically anyway after you reach a certain part past the checkpoint there. slight advantage to having lesser weapons at first is probably 
the fact that you'll be able to still get to them quicker compared to if you were juggling just all those weapons at the same time. Can't really have all of them at, on the quick select. health packs. So over here there should be a small fireworks show. Set it off. still going. creatures on the side and all those skittering scrawny ones there just gonna beat you into clipping one of them so they'll scream and summon more
grenade. Now about that. Nice. Just wanted to use it there. Proto suit three. Mm. Give out the kicks. All right. Level complete. Thank you all for watching there. Questions, advice, you can leave them in comments or PSN Discord, links in description. <laughs>